Hey guys, Mars Singin here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today I am back with another custom Tanabata celebration concept since we are currently sat waiting for any kind of news or information about what is going to be going on in the game next for either version. Global we obviously have a pretty solid idea that it's going to be the LR Super Boo and the stuff that came with his celebration but no actual in-game confirmation on either of the versions just yet. So I've done two of these already, the Baby vs Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Movie 10 Broly vs Gohan. I've got some good feedback on both of those so this is going to follow the exact same sort of format. I came up with an idea for a celebration that very much matches what we get from the usual Tanner by a celebration this is last year's one uh, being a new Dokkan Fest exclusive LR with a side banner unit um, and then a couple of easy A's uh, for last year's one we got two Dokkan Fest exclusives in like a dual extreme Z battle we got a, a super strike revamp so like a free to play easy A and then we got two separate LR easy A's as well so basically just trying to come up with the things that would fit into those categories um, as closely as possible and I've seen a few people talking about the potential for this theme so I thought uh, this would be a good one for today's video um, and that is of course you know by the title and the uh, thumbnail that it's going to be a new Gotenks. Now I used the art for this one just because it is Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks. Um, it seems crazy to me that we still have all the Goku and Vegetas that we have in the game that fuse into Vegito or Gogeta, whether it's a proper fusion with like an active skill or it's just in the super attack animation or something like that, right? We have a bunch of those units, but we do not have a single Goten and Trunks that fuse into Gotenks as an actual unit. Like even we even have Goten and Trunks characters that have fusion in their super attack animation, but we don't have a character that actually just straight up is Goten and Trunks. You do an active skill, they do the fusion dance, and they become Gotenks, right? So I think that would be a really good choice for a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR. Um, I think they absolutely deserve it. Like not everybody loves Gotenks as a character, but you can say that about like any character in the show, basically. Lee. And I think that they could be a pretty solid choice. So I think it would be cool to have a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR that starts out as Goten and Trunks. Um, you might have to pull some super attack animation ideas from other things because obviously, especially when it comes to like the fight against Boo, they don't really do much like unfused. So you might have to come up with some bits from other parts of the show or some original type stuff. Um, I think, you know, Dokkan is more than capable of doing that kind of stuff we've seen time and time again and then give them an active skill make it nice and easy like turn four or just some very very easy to meet restrictions and then they fuse and the idea the way i would like to see it rather than super over complicating the unit and giving them tons of abilities i would prefer essentially for them to fuse immediately into super saiyan 3 gotenks so you can have the animation be them do the fusion dance as Super Saiyans, because they're Super Saiyans already in the base card, they fuse into Super Saiyan Gotenks and then immediately power up and transform into Super Saiyan 3. Um, and I, I actually talked about ages ago on Twitter a concept that I had for a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks LR that I thought would be really cool. Um, it's kind of like a new mechanic, so I don't know how likely that would be. But I'd really like this Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks to have an active skill where he creates a bunch of the ghosts, uh, like Kamikaze ghosts, um, and then that's it, right? The animation isn't an attack. He just creates a bunch of the ghosts and then his sprite could even change, right? So that he has a ghost like either side of him. And then the way the ability would work, it's like a super defensive ability, make him like a really defensive unit where every time the enemy attacks him, when he has like, he makes a certain number of ghosts. I don't know what would be balanced. And every time the enemy attacks him, when he has the ghosts, instead of taking damage, he just negates that attack and doesn't take any damage. And the ghost like blows up. The ghost could damage the enemy, but I don't know if that's maybe too OP because it's a counter for every attack and not just normals. So maybe it doesn't do damage. And then the counter side to making it not too overpowered is when the last ghost blows up. It damages you as well. I thought that would be kind of a cool mechanic because it gives you a really, really strong defensive option to use in certain events where once you pop the ability, you know that the next certain number of attacks basically can't deal damage to you, which would be pretty cool. And I guess, to be fair, I came up with that concept before standby abilities were in the game. So that could actually be a standby for him. So maybe he can't attack, but then yeah, he can't take damage because he just creates a bunch of ghosts. 
And then I guess you could balance it so maybe they do do a little bit of damage to the enemy. Because he himself can't attack for those turns, right? And then you use up all the ghosts and then that's the standby ability done. Maybe it could end with, I guess, the animation being like the final ghost blows up on the enemy and himself. And you get like a funny animation of him, uh, you know, after an explosion where he's all dirty and like clothes are ragged and stuff. I think there even is an animation like that. Where he's like smiling and doing a peace sign, but he's all covered in like smoke and dust and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, a new Dokkan Fest LR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks I think would be very, very cool. Now in terms of the side banner unit, funnily enough, my original thought was a Piccolo. But we have quite a few Piccolo side banner units, including STR Piccolo, who's still one of the best side banner units in the game. And unfortunately, every Piccolo that isn't the uh, superhero, like Potential Unleashed or Orange Piccolo, all have the same name. So I don't know if another new Piccolo would be the most hype thing. But one thing I thought would be pretty cool as a side banner unit was a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Because obviously Goku is the one who shows them how to go Super Saiyan 3 as well as showing them how to fuse. I mean essentially he doesn't show them how to go Super Saiyan 3 but they know because they saw him do it right. And he's the one that teaches them to fuse. So or maybe I guess it would be kind of funny you could have like a Goku and Piccolo unit that is teaching them to fuse as the side banner unit but then we get into all sorts of issues with what what categories are they on what links do they have and stuff like that so I thought a Super Saiyan 3 Goku as the side banner unit would be kind of cool because a new Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is a buff to the Super Saiyan 3 category so getting another buff to the Super Saiyan 3 category in the same celebration would be pretty cool especially if you make this guy a very good support unit very good defense. I mean, I know we can't expect every unit to be like that now, but imagine this guy being like a Bulma or Yajirobe, but for like Margin Buu Saga or Super Saiyan 3, or maybe just that, Margin Buu Saga or Super Saiyan 3. So then he has the uses on a couple of different teams. I think that would be pretty cool. So he could be the side banner unit. He could just have a pretty basic, well, not basic, we don't want it to be bad, but a basic super attack animation of like something from his fight against um, Fat Buu, maybe. Um, and then I think that'd be pretty cool. I know a lot of people don't want there to be Gokus all the time, but I feel like this is a pretty good juxtaposition by having Goku be the side banner unit and not actually the main card. And then if you make him good enough, people were going to want to summon to get him anyway, just like Yajirobe and stuff, right? So I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so new Gotenks, fusing from Goten and Trunks, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku as the side banner unit. I think that would be pretty cool. So... Moving into the easy A's, we obviously want to look at the big ticket ones here. We had the Vegito and Rosé one last year. I think a crazy good one. Maybe it's a little too early. I know they're like three years old, but imagine they easy A'd this Gotenks and this Tech Boo as part of this celebration. Because this guy transforms on his second turn into Super Saiyan Gotenks, then has an active skill to transform into Super Saiyan 3. So he would work perfectly well with the new unit. Um, so that would be very, very good. I think this guy, I always thought this guy was underrated quicker, like he became underrated quicker than he should have. I remember using him in a bunch of Super Battle Road stages where I guess obviously that's one of his top places to be used, right? Because he can multiple super, has a 70% chance to stun. And then when you transform up to Super Saiyan 3, he can drop a ton of damage in one turn. So I always thought this unit was pretty fun. Um, I was never a huge fan of this unit, but I feel like all the things that are wrong with this unit could be so easily fixed with a good easy A to the point of making this unit insanely good, right? Because this unit suffers from having 40% damage reduction but no actual defense isn't really that great. So once you actually throw easy A stats and then some start of turn defense on this guy, he's going to be a really, really good tank for the first turn in this form. Then he transforms into the Evil Boo. Uh, again, he has a chance to dodge. He has the damage reduction, but he doesn't have any start of turn defense. So again, you give him start of turn defense, maybe increase the dodge to 50%, and then he's already going to be really good. And then when we got to Super Boo, he was actually quite good, but he still has the same issue. Imagine if this, he doesn't have to be 220%, but again, imagine him having actual start of turn defense and then 50% damage reduction. He's greatly raising defense on super. Like you throw in a chance to additional maybe along with crit with these rainbow orbs collected. And then this guy could be absolutely insane after his easy A. So these two getting an easy A during the celebration would be pretty cool. Maybe it is too early, I don't know. But that would definitely be hype and they would work very well with the new units, right? 
Um, and then for a free-to-play unit, we have this guy. Now, technically, he's from this copy Vegeta arc in Dragon Ball Super. But he's like the only free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, right? So give him an awakening. Um, I guess, to be fair, I know it's not super popular to give units TUR awakenings and then EZA straight away. But I don't mind it with free-to-play units because people say, like, why didn't you just save their EZA for like a year or two? And then you can make them relevant again. But it's a free-to-play farmable unit, so just make a new free-to-play unit in like a year, right? Whereas you want this guy to get a good awakening, but him having an easy A means he has higher stats, means your team has overall higher HP. But, you know, he doesn't have to get an easy A. They could just give him a really good TUR awakening. Either way, I think that would be pretty cool. He has a Super Saiyan 3 lead, he would work well with the new unit, like as long as he's actually good then he could be a very solid free-to-play. Like, imagine they let the guy who designed, like, Master Roshi Super Strike or, like, the uh, free-to-play Tech Bulma, they let that guy design this guy's Awakening, and then he could be pretty good. Now, when it comes to LR EZAs, which is a big part of the Tanabata celebration, right? We got two last year. I kind of struggled to find ones that would be relevant to the theme because the only LR, like, Goten and Trunks, they have an EZA already. And then when it comes to like Boo LRs, a lot of them are very new. So one of the ones I picked out was this Vegeta. Um, he's a standalone yellow coin LR. I mean, he's around as old as the uh, Boo and Gotenks, but he's kind of the only big Margin Boo Saga yellow coin LR that doesn't have an EZA that fits with this theme. And like a lot of people, myself included, thought he was going to EZA during the anniversary because obviously this unit, right, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, was one of the headliners. So this guy getting an easy A during the anniversary would have made a ton of sense, and then it didn't happen. So him getting an easy A now, while that unit is still obviously usable and in the meta, would be pretty cool by right? being able to use them together. So this guy getting an easy A would be really good. Now, the other thing I did think of, I really don't think we would get this and the Int Gotenks and Tech Boo. And I know a lot of people will say, oh no, they wouldn't do this, right? They'd save it for a future worldwide download celebration but imagine the hype for this tanabata celebration if the two big easy a's that we got were str vegeto and physical boot tanks like people would go crazy right because this unit was insane and then once they aged out mainly thanks to the red zone they aged out hard but like when this guy came out i got both of these units only at 55 percent and on global that means i had no dupes in them for 11 months until they came back and these guys were single-handedly responsible for me being out of no item almost every single Super Battle Road stage that you could use them in. Because they raise defense on Super and back it up with some damage reduction. And then when you fuse with them, you get, you get a heal. Like, it's so unbelievably useful. The only downside, of course, is the fact that this guy doesn't have the best... Uh, well, I say the best. He actually doesn't have any damage reduction against normal attacks which I think is the reason why he aged so badly compared to other Vegitos. So with an easy A, this guy would be nuts. And then this guy, super, super good when he first came out as well. So imagine him getting an easy A. Like, there's not even that much you really have to do to him, but like, he would be insane. And of course, by the time he transforms into uh, Buhan, he's going to be dropping like megaton nuke attack stats. Um... I think these two would be insane hype easy A's. I just don't know if they would do that for the Tanabata celebration. And like I said, I don't think they would drop these two easy A's and these two easy A's at the same time. But, I mean, hey, imagine if they did, right? So, that moves us on to the final part, which is, of course, the Part 2 Carnival LR. Obviously, it makes sense, spoiled by the title and the thumbnail, but the Part 2 Carnival LR would be a Buhan. Standalone Buhan. So he could have a cool intro animation, which is uh, Super Boo absorbing um, Gohan. Uh, well, I guess technically it's Boo Tanks that absorbs Gohan, right? So have an intro and entrance animation of him absorbing Gohan. I mean, technically this guy has that as his transformation animation. So I guess it is a thing that we already have. But, you know, you can redo it again, different angles, close ups. Like, you could make it look very cool doesn't have to be super long because it is just the intro animation and then yeah a standalone Buhan because standalone Buhan big boost to the uh, Martian power team or every other Boo Saga unit or every Boo unit I should say and then especially if this guy does get an easy A like these two together would be absolutely wild 
Now, for a Carnival LR, I guess I didn't really talk about Gotenks' leader skill either, but for a Carnival LR, I already talked about it in the other concepts, that I feel like they're not going to give the really powerful categories 200% leader skills, but this guy has some very interesting ones, right? Like, artificial life forms could be really good as a 200% team. Transformation boost would, I think, almost be too overpowered. Um, he's probably not going to get Kamehameha because that'd be such a weird team with him as the leader. Uh, power absorption, maybe. Margin power. I mean, it's kind of like how um, Metal Cooler got Wicked Bloodline, but the category is obviously quite limited. Uh, sworn enemies, maybe. Worldwide chaos, maybe. I feel like power absorption, artificial life forms, or margin power are the most likely, uh, with artificial life forms probably being one of the best options. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and then I did think as a secondary EZA, depending on who does get EZAs in the part one, this guy finally getting an EZA, the physical bootanks. Like his passive is so, like, it's just such a blank slate. Like, again, make him a good, like, Margin Boo Saga support unit, and then he would work really well alongside the new LR. So, going back to these guys, just very briefly to talk about their leader skill. I feel like because they were the character that really introduced it into the series, right? Because Gogeta didn't appear until a movie that came out around the same time. Fusion was obviously already in his mind, right, when doing the uh, Boo Saga. But Fused Fighters would be very cool as one of their 170s. Because um, remember, these guys are going to fuse into them so they can be on the category. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know you. I don't know if we need another youth leader. Um, Super Saiyan 3 would be kind of interesting because that team does need buffs. Uh, Bond of Parent and Child Earthbred Fighters are obviously very powerful categories. Bond of Friendship, I guess, is kind of a decent one because it is a Goten and Trunks unit. Um, again, I talked about in one of the previous concepts, we've never seen a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR that has more than two 170 leads. So, but I mean, even Margin Buu Saga, right? Like, imagine if they had Fused Fighters and Margin Buu Saga as their 170s. And then depending on what we pick as the extra 30%, it means like all Vegitos would be on their teams, right? Because the Boo Saga ones and non-Boo Saga ones would be on there as well. Um, Final Trump card, I guess, could get the extra 30%. That would cover a lot of the fusion characters as well. Um, there's a few different things you could do. But like I said in the previous concepts, I didn't really think too much about the kits of the units. So if you guys have ideas on what you would like to see as like the leader skill, the passive, all that kind of stuff for these uh, concept units, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. But yeah, I think this would make for a pretty hyped Tanabata celebration. A Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks that fuse into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as the Dokkan Fest LR. And then a Carnival LR Buhan as part two. A lot of interesting EZAs that we could get. Probably wouldn't get all of the ones I mentioned in one celebration. But man, imagine if we did. That would be super hype. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you have ideas for other Tanabata themes that I could do videos like this on, let me know. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll make one of those into a video as well. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.